Hey, Just Bricks here. It is Wednesday the 27th, and I just got to the brick kiln with a box. Uh, this morning when I went to work, I went to our electrical supply house and uh, had some trash to throw away, and they let us use their dumpster, so I took, and took it over to the dumpster, looked inside, and this was sitting inside the dumpster. It's a big old box full of Lego friends. I got a bunch of these instruction booklets here. Let's see. Those are the same set. The cafe. That's the same set. This little thing here. A stable. Let's see what else we got. There's that one. Got that. This goes to that. Got some little sets there. Another one. And then let's see, we got a ship at the top. We got a little car there. A bunch of the plates, those are nice. Some uh pieces this house this is my first time really digging into this I looked at the instruction booklets a little bit earlier but I haven't actually looked in there too much there's another instruction booklet and this stuff is going to be washed it looks like there's a mouse living in this box so I'm definitely making sure I get this stuff clean but for the most part, everything looks to be in pretty decent condition so far. Oh, there's Peppa Pig. In the chair. I'm seeing there's definitely parts that won't be in here. Like, so, where was it? This, uh stable set. I don't see any of the horses. But still, it's pretty light. I cannot turn down free Lego, right? So that is a breakdown wash and uh, sort into my other stuff. But I think it's probably probably about five, six pounds. Not counting the instructions. But yeah, pretty awesome way to start off the day. All right, so finished going through the box. There's a couple things that uh, show definite signs of there being mice. Let's see if we can get that to focus. And yeah, that house, that house head is all chewed up. So it's that piece there. And some of these other ones are just discolored. So that's what was just straight up junk. And then everything else, why well, you're not focusing, is in here. I'm filling it up with some soapy water. Definitely needs to be washed. Uh, for the most part, it wasn't too dusty, but they like said there was definite signs of there being mice in that box. So I loaded it up with a bunch of soap. I'm gonna fill it up and leave that here because I have to take off here in just a couple minutes. But uh, I did weigh it, and I said it was about six pounds to Lego. Six and a half pounds after I took that stuff out. So I uh, feel pretty good about my Lego weight estimations now, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up this section of the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, it is Thursday, and uh, this is that's that lot from the dumpster. Got it all cleaned up and got the fan blowing on it to dry off. I already picked out some pieces of it. Uh, the instructions I'm probably just going to end up recycling because most of them aren't in that great a shape and probably aren't really worth listing. I might look at some of the older ones, some of the four digit books that are in better shape. But uh, yeah, so those are probably just going to go in the recycling. But I've already got some pieces, a bunch of those plates in there were pieces that had already dried out. And then I got the boat pieces there and some of these other large pieces. And 
panels that dried off already. I don't know if that really goes in that bin or not, but that's where, actually, I guess it goes in with the wedges. That's where that other one is. I guess those will go in miscellaneous. And there, that in there, and there's another. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and try and sort out this bin real quick. So I can try and get this finished up. Uh, cleaning that Lego ate up a lot of my time earlier. So, uh, not sure I'm gonna be able to finish this tonight probably not but uh gonna get started on it so let's see let's, let's see how far i can get the container is empty but it's only because i dumped it into a smaller container so uh this is all that's left of that it's a uh, smaller container but still a decent amount i was only able to really empty um there you go I was really only able to empty one of these smaller containers, but I'm getting down to a lot of the small pieces, so it's taking a little bit longer to get through the, uh, the stuff that's in there. But uh, yeah, my bins are stacking up quite a bit. I'm really not looking forward to going through my uh, modified plates container because there's a lot of small parts in here. And then... Uh, one by plates is getting really full one by bricks is getting full one by bricks and modified bricks are probably going to end up in larger containers soon i'll probably switch the modified bricks to one of these larger bins yeah i'm not sure yet it's it's just there's still a lot of bulk use i still got that big bin there the blue bin there uh, stuff in that bin down there, partial sets here, and then all these bins are still full as well. So uh, I'm trying to get as much sorted into these categories as possible before I start down sorting and uploading again, just because I want to get as much up as possible. And it's just kind of a slog. So, uh, it's almost 11 o'clock and I still have to pick my orders. Thankfully, I think there's only like 16 lots to pick, so it shouldn't take me very long. So I'm going to go ahead and go pick those orders and, uh, see what I can get into after that. All right. So, uh, I got ambitious and started sorting this and, uh, sorted longer than I should have because now it's almost, well, it's a little after 1230 in the morning. And uh, I need to go home, so I'm going to leave it there, but very close to being done with that bin. So got even more stuff sorted out now, and we'll pick it up probably tomorrow evening. All right, it is Friday evening. I am once again sorting my bulk used. I've got here a stack of these plates. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. These one by one decorated plates from the Minecraft sets. Um, I think I'm gonna put those someplace else just so I can uh, not lose them. I'm getting down to the bottom of this ball clot and there's a lot of just like hair and junk from pets and just general carpet dirt. So I got that. I've been going for over an hour now and I still have the better part of this container to do. So I'm probably going to stop there and try and get my orders picked because I'm, I know I, I was here, well, I didn't get to bed until close to 2 a.m. last night. And so, uh, I want to make sure I'm not here late again and tomorrow morning I have stuff going on and tomorrow afternoon I got stuff going on so I got to get something done now so <laughs> uh 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and go pick orders and I'll be back. All right, so I'm getting my orders packed. This one had quite a few studs, so I got them all in there. Got their sticker. I also got these two minifigures there, just bagged them together. Um, already packed my one order that was like Ninjago and Monkey Kid figures. Got this big order here. All these drawers are all one order. Got new parts, used parts, a uh, bunch of new tiles, some new larger pieces, and used larger pieces. And then the last order is just that torso and this uh, Daily Bugle tile there. So those are the orders. Gonna get them packed up and call it a night. This order is gonna get a smiling bricky. It's been a while since I've included one of these guys with the order, but uh, if you place an order in my store, just let me know if you want one of these and I'll throw one in with your order. I've got a whole drawer full of parts for them. The last order, big order. That bricky in there. There we go. Something I haven't shown yet is uh, I've started to use Pirate Ship, and so on the um, pick orders page, I'm trying not to show shipping information, but um, on the Brick Brick Freedom uh, ship orders page, you can come down to the bottom and hit download CSV file. That will download a copy of all your shipping addresses. Though I'm going to have to change it because if I download that file as it is, it will make me purchase all the labels as exactly the same. And uh, this one order here is 13 ounces. So it's probably more like 15 ounces after all the packaging. So I'm going to have to do that one as a different weight from the other ones, which are all less than an ounce or less than two ounces. Just come over here and select the four orders that I want. I'm recording it sideways so I don't show their names and such. But then I can just take those and hit post just the four orders. Then download that CSV and jump over to Pirate Ship and hit Upload. And it'll ask me for a file. Four ounces or less, it has my information saved there for the package size, and then I'll hit Get Rates, and it will tell me that it's getting the rates. So that's Pirate Ship, very simple to use. Oh, and it shows an average of your label cost once it sets it up, so. Okay, something that is kind of fun to do is I've told it to print all the labels. All I have to do is plug in my printer, and they're all going to print. Update on the Dew Collection. Uh, I did get one each of the kickstart flavors. I've had them all before, but I hadn't had them in a while and I didn't have the cans in my collection. Uh, so I got the total set of what was available currently. Um, if I had to rank them, these two are the best. Probably grape, then the pineapple orange mango, then black cherry, then fruit punch, and orange citrus is disgusting. We'll not get that one ever again. And if you've seen it around, it should be coming around into all the areas now. There's a Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot. I washed the bottle out and it, then I put the cap back on so it tried to dry out and hasn't had a chance to yet. So I'm going to take that cap off, but uh, I cannot recommend this. It's very gimmicky. It's like something you'd see at one of those specialty soda shops that has like ranch flavored soda and stuff like that and so uh i got it i tried it um i tried the original version that was only on the uh mountain dew store website the dew store website and this one is a little different the new one has more of a lime flavor to it uh 
This one was worse. This one's still like a a D or an F tier flavor. It's like the flavor itself is good, but the spicy soda is just weird. And so I, I can't recommend it. Um, yeah, uh, I'm probably still going to have to buy a 12 pack of it to get a can for the collection. And then I'll get rid of this bottle. But yeah, uh, interesting idea. Just not necessarily a good one. I did go back and sort some more. Still didn't get to finish this. It's just, it's a lot of little tiny pieces. So I was watching um, Doug on over at Dotu Bricks. He did a live stream tonight. And so I, uh, I was watching his live stream. We were talking about sorting strategies and stuff. Um, if you want to go ahead and uh, go over there and watch that live stream. We did have an interesting conversation just about different sorting ideas and using categories and stuff. Um, oh, there was something else. Oh yeah, that's where I got the idea to talk about the Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Someone asked me about it. Um, Eric, thanks for uh, the conversation on the stream and for reminding me that I hadn't talked about the Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. So I, I might try and get a little bit more this time, but probably not because I need to go home and get some sleep tonight. Um, we're going to try and possibly go to some yard sales tomorrow and see what happens. I did it. The container is empty. And so is the tray, except for all this dirt. That's gross. I'll have to wash this tray off now. And this one that's covered in dog hair. But after all that work, got all the studs out. Oh, it's, it's still Friday night, by the way. I just got sucked into it and decided I wanted to finish that before the end of the week. Got it done. Um, next thing up will not be tonight, but next thing up will be this container here, which is the six and a half pounds of Lego I found in the dumpster the other day. And just going to sort that out and get it into my uh, containers and yeah but uh, that's going to wrap it up for tonight that's going to wrap it up for this week thanks for watching until next time y'all have a good one okay well now that it's almost one in the morning and my bins are all overflowing except for this one that's empty it's time for me to go home and go to bed for real Whew. One of these days I'll mean it when I say I'm leaving on time.